Well, I'm over here in sunny South Australia to sample some of the best salmon fishing in the country. Our Monta Beach, just about half an hour's drive from Port Lincoln. Magnificent beach, this is one of the most famous surf beaches in the state. And we've got some pretty good conditions here this morning, Bill. Absolutely. Shane Mensforth from SA Angler Magazine, probably the best person to get me out of here on the beach. I've been here a few times before. Have you? A few too many, probably. But oh, uh, well. It's a beautiful beach, one of my favourites. It's one of the few beaches you can walk onto, you don't need a four-wheel drive. And there are nearly always big salmon here. Really? How big? I mean, I'm used to catching salmon that are maybe a kilo's big for me. Well, you get a few of those here too, but four kilos and, and a little bit bigger is not uncommon here. Four kilos? Yeah, three, three and a half is probably average, and okay. a few four kilo plus fish. So uh, I may be in a bit of strife if I'm using uh, t two, uh, if I get two four you kilo double, fish on a You've got a double header of four kilo salmon, mate, you're going to know all about it. But no, well. interesting rig, I like the surf popper above the, uh, the whole pilly there. Yeah, well, we don't use a lot of whole pillies in, uh, in our section of the coast, but um, you guys seem to think that they uh, do the trick, so um, we'll yeah, give well, it a go. Yeah, they do. And I like your rig. I've, that's, uh, in, I'll be intrigued to see if you catch a fish on that surface. Okay, popper. no worries. All yeah. right, let's, let's give it a go. go. Another salmon from our Monda Beach and the bait. Oh, hang on, this is not what you use. This is something else. Now, that's some of the. This is some of the burley that we threw into the water to prove that it works. It's part of a whiting frame that we used for burley about 15 minutes ago. So, if ever you needed proof that burley works, that's it. He scoffed that. Then eating Brett's pilchard as well. But another lovely fish. Go put him back, mate. Catch another one. He's out of here. Good. Surf fishing and soft plastics, Lenny. We're going to have a go in the surf here on uh, soft plastics. The boys yep. behind us are getting a few on uh, on pilchards. That's right, yeah. So we sort of figure this this jerk shad looks a bit like a pilchard. Yeah. Um, so we'll give that a go. Now, I always have trouble rigging these on the on the jig heads. You've got a few. Uh, I got a little a tip hits. here. Yeah, yep. a little bit of okay. a tip. So what show us show us how you rig them. What's difficult about them is um, trying to judge where the point of the hook comes out in the um, yep. soft plastic. Yep. So and mine I've... sometimes scrunch up and you, yeah, you bit waste the soft plastic, you've got to exactly. pull it off and so, put so a what, new one on. So just show so us So what the I trick. do, I sort of hold the, hold the plastic against the hook, the gate yep. of the hook here. I can sort of see where it's going to come out. I mark it with the okay. tip of the hook. I can tell where the... Um, so this is where you know the... The, the gate of the hook's going to sit yep. up hard against the lead. So then you're going to have to bring your hook out here and it'll sit nice and straight. Exactly. So I just... Whacking through now. We've got a nice gutter behind us too, so... Yeah, um, it looks excellent. Can't wait to throw this bugger in. And that's how he sits. Okay. Nice and straight. Lifelike. Just like that's a, good. Where's a pilchard? Just a bit of pilchard down there? Yep. That's sort of, you know, same sort of thing. I noticed you've just tied, tied hard on your jig head here. I'm just going to run it off a bit of a loop knot. You can either tie it either way. By doing that, you're going to create more movement, perhaps. And a bit more movement. Uh, give us this one, yeah. So, always centred. I mean, I, I think anything in the salt water, the centred plastics always work a little bit better. Well, it's going to ha enhance a fish bite, I guess. Yeah. It smells tie that on a bit of a loop like that. As opposed to the hard Just one trim that up. As opposed to maybe locking the knot right down on the jig head. I like a bit of a loop. I'm going to go for a that cast. That should be good. We'll go give it a go. Well, this is a really nice fish. I think he's really pulling hard in that surf rack. He's a 20 pound braid here, but I've got a back to drag. He's taking a few nice runs, so good fish. Jumped out of the water a couple of times. That's what I really love about salmon. The aerial side, they're always spectacular. This is a really nice fish. Good fish. Might be eight or nine pounds this one, I think. Think about it, when you get him in this first surf break here, you've got to be a little bit careful. I've got reasonably heavy line, but he's a good fish. And he 
was using that undertow to his full advantage. I've got to follow him a bit here. Bill! Get out! I really love about salmon, they just never know when to throw in the towel, they fight it right to the beach. And that's what we love about them. It's a real good one. You see the foul hook there is a really big fish, he's really good. Give me a head. No, I saw it jumping out there before. Good salmon shine. What a great fish. What a great fish. Oh, eight pounds. And you reckon he gave me a hard time? Just get him up out of the water. Unlock it. That's what Australian salmon is all about. He's seven or eight pounds. One of the best fighting fish in the Southern Ocean. Not the best fish to eat, unless you're a Victorian, but still, just a fabulous fish to catch. We'll unhook this guy, put him back in the water, and uh, hopefully catch another one. That's a good start to the morning, Bill. That's a great start. What a terrific fish. Beautiful fish. You can see how the twin hooks here has got into it as yep. well. Yep, he's just taking the whole pilch and he's hooked, hooked perfectly. Right Arapus trutter esper. Western version of the Australian salmon. Great fish and a great classic surf beach too. Oh. Right? Big gutter out the front, El bit Monte of early. El Monte Beach, first thing in the morning, mate, there's just nothing better, is there? Yeah. Fantastic. Worth the drive from Melbourne? Absolutely. Two Tommies. Had a couple of hits on that. Oh yes, that's a better fish. Oh, this is a better fish on a soft plastic. Just see if we can wash it up in the surf here. It's a good fish on a soft plastic. That's the best fish I've caught in the surf on a lure. By far my best salmon too. How's the action going? Uh, a bit slow, we need to spike things up a bit. You got some burley? Yeah, well I've got some of your, your burley that you guys use. Like, <laughs> we usually use a bag or um, uh, onion bag or something like that in the that surf. Works, that works pretty well. But yeah, you, you got, guys here just use the um, yeah, whiting frames. Just throw them in. They tumble around in the surf and break up. Yeah, okay. And uh, as long as it's got a bit of oil, a bit of a smell, yeah. and there's some surf action, it'll draw the fish from yeah, quite a way away. It's amazing. It was a good gutter here. As soon as we burlied three quarters of an hour ago, we caught three or four fish. That's right. Including the one on the soft plastic. So we've got to just Action's keep, keep, gone up keep going. Now. Yeah, keep yeah. going. It's a bit more burly. But you happy smell. to get rid of all of this? Yeah, go if you like. Okay. A reasonable fish in anywhere except South Australia. <laughs> I noticed Shane, have a look at this one. Look at the scars on this fish here. It's quite common now. Whether these are getting grabbed by whale sharks or mulloway, yeah. I'm not sure, but that one's obviously these had really a bit of a been attacked. You know? Yeah, that's not that uh, not that old, it's probably a no. week, week or so old. And, yeah. Uh, Tough yeah. life out there. It is. Very tough. Dog eat dog in the ocean, eh? Yeah. We'll let him go, he deserves to live.
Well, there's lots of surf tackle that you can use around the country. I'm using one of these um, Daiwa Emblem long spool surf reels. Probably about a mid-range model with um, gel spun on it. And I've coupled it with a, uh, it's a 13 foot long high-tech graphite emblem pro casting rod, which will cast anything from three quarters of an ounce through, oh, hello, we've got a bite here, through to um, probably four ounces, five ounces if you need to. As you can see, Tom down there is using more traditional gear, and he's actually using a thread line on a low winch mount down here, which means cast the same way, except you control the reel down with your, your left hand if you're a right-handed caster. He uses that because he didn't sit his butt in his rod holder, whereas I just, with the, longer, with the longer butt here, can just stick it between your legs. Shane's coming down here with a um, much more standard outfit. He's got another long cast Saltiga or something, I'd say there, and a um, heavy eight wrap surf rod. And then, of course, his son, Brett, behind us, is using an overhead. Not one of my favorite reels for the surf, but Brett certainly likes it using a lot shorter rod as well. Um, much better if you get some Mulloway or a big fish on, I think. You can see Shane here. Just nice and easy, that was probably a good 80 metre cast. The tackle you got there, Shane, you've got a, um, a long spool Saltiga couple. What's the rod you've got? It's uh, one of the Wilson uh, live fibres. Okay. Eight wrap. It's a bit heavy for this sort here. of fishing, but I'm using it anyway today. Okay. I've bought this for, for Mulloway fishing more than yeah. salmon, but. And look, it's perfect. You can see the difference here. I've got the much longer, probably almost 900 millimetres of um, of drop from the um, from the reel seat down to the butt. You've got a much shorter, yeah, a much shorter butt. But you can see the reason for it, it'll sit, probably can't cast as far, although you put that cast well out. Um, but it sits in your rod holder a lot better. Yeah, it's if I was doing this, I'd be up here with Yeah, my, it's comfortable for my reach. It's not, not going to work. Yeah. yeah. I've been knocked off here, my boat left straight away. Yeah. Another bit of tackle that's always handy too, and I'll save you the walk back to the bait. <laughs> good on you, mate. Yeah, a little uh, bait pouch is a good idea. Especially when you've got 100 metres to your, to your gear. Yeah, that's right. There you go. Thank you. There are several ways to bait up a, a WA pilly when you're fishing in the surf. The way I like to do it, I've got two hooks here linked, probably th three or four inches apart to suit the size of the bait. These are 4 o mustard big reds, which I find pretty good hooks for surf fishing. I put the first hook in just behind the pilchard's eye, push it all the way through. The second hook goes about halfway along the pilchard's back, or two thirds away along the back. Again, push all the way through. Then this is the important part. At least one half hitch, probably two, around the tail. That holds the bait nice and securely. Takes the weight off the hooks as you're casting so they don't rip, tear off in midair. And uh, you should be able to cast that with no dramas at all. You notice the hook points are well clear of the bait. So that if a fish does come along and grab it, bingo, it's gonna be hooked straight away. But Several variations, a lot of people like to use linked hooks, but it's the way I prefer to do it. it. Seems to work fairly well. Now Shane, when you cast these soft baits, just a matter with these uh, modern rods, just loading, loading them up slowly and steadily and then just letting them go. That's right. You try to pendulum cast or do anything smart like that. You've got to smash the just, bait off. Yeah, just throw the bait off. Yep. So, so probably both show you how you can do that. Actually, here's one technique that I reckon is pretty good for people who may be just starting out. Just put your rig on the sand yep. and just drag it, drag it down like so, load up. Perfect. Out you go. And that is a fish cast. <laughs>